What is up everybody? It is Friday. It's a very hat hat day and I'm somewhere in the world at the point of recording this video. Uh, I'm actually recording this on a Wednesday as I've um, got a lot of personal things on at the moment. But I wanted to go over the uh, the new update that's going to be coming to Hood. Or to be more precise, the Hood. Either way, with a lot of stuff that's happened in the last year with him being buffed, people weren't happy about it and then he got to put back to the way he was. Now we're going for attempt number two to make the champion right. Let's get into what Kabam are proposing to change when the champion comes in for the rework in the update, which I believe is in uh, a week or two weeks time. Yeah, surprising to think that we've got uh, two weeks to go before some new content drops in. Uh, I don't know about any of you. Uh, I just haven't been playing that much. So it's been nice to just like kick back and relax because I need to go hard and go strong uh, next month and then for the foreseeable year so uh, so yeah like lots on let's get into it Bam's fundamental overview of things when it comes to the hood changes is that the new kit makes him more the mystical master of miss okay his new hex pistols mechanic mechanic uh, gives him a totally new avenue to damage and an upgrade to his miss lets you reliably deal with special attacks if used correctly, more damage and more reliable utility has hoods sh hood shining in a new light. It also looks like the fundamentals, the miss and stagger seem to be amplified to the nine. So uh, that basically means that it's a lot more potent. And if the staggers are really consistent, I think that a lot of players will consider this an option. If you don't have the likes of Symbiote Supreme, Doctor Doom, and a whole host of other champions like Sorcerer Supreme uh, and uh, Blackwood and Clairvoyant, any champion or other ones like Sasquatch that have a stagger mechanic within it, but also want something that deals with things like special attacks, and I think this champion will definitely be one of consistency that players would love to use a little bit more. But with that mechanic technically already existing with the champion, there needs to be more elaboration. So we're going to read on and find out uh, to the extent of like how much more potent is the stagger, which, you know, with hitting off crits was actually pretty good so far. But wait just one second because it is going to be a return of the hex pistols, loaded bullets, all that stuff is back. This was something, well, not ridiculously out of the realms of uh, coexisting with the champion and as well the very strong fan base behind it. But so let's just see what's what what Kabam are proposing here. So the hoods bullets persist from fight to fight within a quest. Nullify buff, load two bullets, make the opponent miss while invisible, load one bullet when the invisibility ends. Okay, hex bullets, 100% chance to fire a bullet and inflict a stacking hex lasting 12 seconds. Each hex deals a burst of 1,150, 115.5 energy damage when it expires and is refreshed when a new hex is gained. So, sort of similar to last time, I think, um, but it looks like, as Kabam say here, Hood's new damage mechanic stacks up a ton of these and cash in for big damage on the heavy attack. Okay, fine, makes sense. But then we look like we, uh, we've we got something that uh, sort of makes a return, which is the dash back and hold block elements to this, which, you know, I think there was something as 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 before when they were proposing new buffs, like, you know, at the moment it is, uh, the hook gains invisibility for eight seconds, one invisible incoming tax, 45% chance to miss, um, yada, 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 for psychic attacks will never miss, one invisible the hood gains, 535.9 increased critical damage rating and his uh, attack ignores 75 percent armor and block proficiency now what does that compare with now so 100 percent chance eight seconds okay when any invisibility goes down cooldown six seconds okay critical damage of uh 592 i think that's still if you this isn't a ranked up version that i've got right here so this is based on a 565 i think that's upped uh same thing with the uh the armor rating side of things while active incoming attacks 120 percent chance to miss which yeah that looks like it's definitely better than it was so that's something there like it just looks like the invisibility is a bit more better more potent and you're probably wondering when i was talking about the stagger well what's good about the changes based on consistency of dealing with the, with the stuff of, of buffs and why this champion will be something that i think players will rotate on their roster and that is 
that we get a stagger passive. That's a good first start, getting all these passive effects. But this time we get 100% chance. So that's just the thing. 100% chance. Now this lasts for five seconds, and when staggered opponent gains a buff, yes, they don't get the buff. When the stagger ends, inflicts direct damage on the opponent and heals the hood for matching amount. Impressive. This but this kind of goes back to what happened with the last time. I mean, it was kind of broken with the way that the interaction was. So I hope the Kabam sorted this out. Uh, if you remember last time, you were able to smack off the enemy and literally just regen the entire time. For me, as someone who doesn't play the hood, I felt that this was amazing if they can continue it. But it was quite obvious that the champion was indeed broken to have that extended amount of regen. It was actually cheesing everything in its path, which is uh, not good for not good for Kabam. Good for us, and obviously, as a lot of people know, when something looks like it's beneficial for the player, you know it's going to get nerfed. For those that don't know on a heavy attack, this is where you ex you, you just like throw off all these hexes and like expire them for plus 100% potency. So that's going to be like the burst damage that we were talking about earlier in kind of looking over this. So this already looks quite good to me and as well, you know, uh, refreshes all the kind of things there like fate, seal effects, bleeds. Normal process of playing the champion, which again is fantastic if you do sp2 uh to uh, to get those get the fate seal up and refresh it then hey you do you at the end of the day if that's what you want that's the play narrative you want to you want to do uh sp1 it looks 100 percent chance to flip the shock debuff handy in certain circumstances if the shock expires af after lasting its full duration 100 percent chance to flip the stun debuff and yeah sp2 with a fate seal excellent now, apart from that, it doesn't look like there's a huge major change, especially with like the special attacks. A lot of them, uh, a lot of the stuff seems to be remaining the same. So to see that the fate seal has been something that was re has been reinstated to a degree, especially if you can if you're going off back of the last time, uh, there was any kind of rework and change, which a lot of players I think were more keen about the fate seal remaining in some sort of capacity. So that is good. And with the signature ability, this is good. The hood becomes immune to all stun effects. This is when while invisible, all stun effects. Additionally, firing a bullet while invisible has a 45% chance to steal 10% of the opponent's current power, gain, uh, gaining twice that amount in the process. Fantastic. That looks brilliant. Rotations are going to be just more cleaner. They're going to be better. And as well, dealing with stun light. There's not usually a lot of champions that deal with stun. I'm just trying to think. There's, there's a stunning node that seems to crop up quite a bit, and especially I think it's in a lot more of uh monthly content i think act 7.2 it might be there not 100 percent sure on 7.3 but uh yeah it's all very kind of like uh, it's all very good to kind of like have those new champions in interact with stuff and being immune to stun i mean it's like second phase of uh of um of nick fury having shrug off champions like crossbones like king groot which looks like a solid um buff so there's lots of positives uh on offer here for this particular buff and i think players will be happy with this and especially with keeping the core values and core elements of this champion, which players that are fans of the hood alive, but also coming in with something that's going to be able to give more potency to the damage, which for me, I like the um, the, the buff changed one, but it may not have been the right call because of the fact that it was a bit overpowered and maybe I was enjoying it being a bit too overpowered and now maybe a bit more scaled down but thoughts in the comment section about this from what you've read are you happy about it are you not so happy about it uh, will you be looking to rank up your champion i personally will be but at the same time uh, i might need to see how much it kind of like crunches on damage because i've got champions that do exactly the same and that's the biggest problem that players will be having is yes it's great to pick up these new champions great to pick up these buff champions but a lot of the time, they all kind of do the same thing or have the same type of kit with only slight variations and changes. So, you know, each to their own, what you enjoy in the game is completely up to you. What champions you rank up is completely your business. But uh, yeah, that's been the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure as well to check out some other content recently posted on screen right now. I hope you have a good day, a lovely weekend and all that stuff. And see you very soon. Bye bye.